Hello folks, this is Tiny Games Lab and in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to do this fancy room transition with circles that grow and shrink. And this tutorial is based on the room transition tutorial and also on the circle transition tutorial. If you have already watched both of these tutorials, please find the link below to jump to the place in this video where we're gonna do something different. If not, stay tuned and we're gonna see how to do everything together. Okay, so we're gonna start with our basics project. This was done in the last video. If you didn't watch it, please click on the link below and you're gonna be able to follow it. So you can see it's just a simple transition, which is a growing circle. And we're gonna switch that to make it more interesting for us. So let's go to our transition object in the create event. And I'm gonna add a few more variables to it. The first one's gonna be circles, which is equal to six. That's the number of circles. I want to use on my transition, I can add more or less, it doesn't really matter. And a color list. So it's gonna be a DS list, so color list equals to DS list create. Sorry, not add create, perfect. And I want to add colors, so I'm gonna use accessors. So I'm gonna use, let's say, make color RGB. Okay, I'm gonna leave this function empty because I wanna copy this and paste it below. So let's add six colors to it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm gonna just type some colors here, and you're gonna see that I'm using six colors and I'm using six circles, so I'm gonna only use one color each time. But what you can actually do is you can increase the number of circles or you can decrease the number of circles independently of the number of the colors because our code is gonna compensate for it. And if you have more circles than colors, it's just gonna start the going through the list again and again. So it doesn't really matter, like I said, it could have 12 circles or four circles and six colors and, or three colors and that doesn't really matter. So let's go to our destroy event. And let's add uh, DS list destroy because we want to clean up our code. So color list. So whenever our object is destroyed, the list is also destroyed. So we're not piling up lists. On our draw event, we're gonna make a little bit of changes so let's add a for loop for j equals to circles j greater than zero j minus minus so i'm gonna add this for loop we're gonna loop through all the circles so we have six circles we're gonna loop it six times from the greater value to the lower value so let's remove this and let's this color a draw set color on top and i want to draw my color or my set my color according to my list so it's going to be color list I'm gonna use an accessor also, which is gonna be J minus one. Okay, mod DS list size color list. So what we're doing here, we're just looping through all the colors that we have inside our color list without going over the size of this color list. Sorry. There we go. Oh, there's a zero here. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing we need to change is the radius function. Okay, so I'm gonna add a minimum here and it's gonna be my maximum distance divided by circles times j, okay? Or it's gonna be my maximum distance plus or times easing out quite, just like before. So what we're doing here, we just, sorry, uh, no, that's, but that's a comma, that's where we're missing. Okay, perfect. So we're just setting a minimum radius for different circles. So if you stop right here, we're gonna have the same effect as the transition, the many circles transition tutorial. If not, let's go ahead and do the fancy transitioning out of the room. Okay, so what we need to do here is we're gonna use some switch statement and we're gonna switch the transition variable. Okay, so in case of trans out, we're gonna just keep this code, I'm just gonna indent it. Okay, and give it a break. And in case of transition into the room, and break, and let's close the switch statement. Okay, so let's copy this code here. We're gonna use the same code and just make some small variations to it. First thing we want to do is we want to add some variables to it. So we're gonna start by adding four variables. The first variable, it's gonna be the distance that we need to do some steps so v sorry just a step okay so each circle has a step of distance that 
that goes through in its step. It's going to be the maximum distance divided by the number of circles we have. And then V minimum time, that's going to be the maximum time divided by the number of circles times the circles minus J because we want to get a reverse order on the circles. And then we're going to have V times step, which is going to be the maximum time divided by the number of circles. Okay, so each step, each circle has a step time. And lastly, it's going to be time is going to be a clamp between time minus V. I'm going to invert V minus min time, perfect, zero and V time step. So we're going to be clamp clamping our time within these variables. Okay, and let's add a if statement. So if time is equal, greater or equal to V min time, minimum time, now let's just close this if statement because it's going to encompass everything here. Let's indent this. And what we need to do here is just change how the radio is calculated, okay? Because we're going to use all those variables that we create up there to calculate our new radius. So it's going to be V distance step times J times the easing out function. Okay, and we're going to use V time and V time step instead of time and maximum time here. And that's it. Let's check how it works and hope it everything works well. And let's try it out. And you can see that it's very nice. So when it's growing, it's the same transition as the mini circles tutorial. When it's shrinking, actually you have each uh, circle shrinking at its own pace. And we start with the smaller circle and grow all the way to the bigger circle. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this tutorial or if you like the series, Please let me know in the comments if there's something you need me to change or want me to do. Let me know also in the comments. And please subscribe to my channel and click on that bell button if you want to be notified of new videos and tutorials like this. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next tutorial.